Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on how to organise your diary for the year. It's January and I've been getting a lot of emails from people saying how do you organise your agenda so that it's not scribbled in all year and it's not hard to use and you know you don't stop using it halfway through the year because it's full of junk so I thought I would show you how I use my diary. This is it, it's just a cheapy one. I only paid a couple of dollars for it. I do want one of those really pretty ones, you know, like some of the ones that you can get online or a Kiki K one, I love them. Um, I do want one of those and I am going to buy one but I, I couldn't decide on which one I wanted yet. I'll show you the links in the bottom bar and you can tell me which one you like the best and yeah, anyway, I'll pick one soon. But for the meantime, this is the one that I'm using. And the two most important tricks that I use to organise my diary are I pop, I don't know if you can see that there, can you see that? That is a little post-it and I use that to separate the week that I'm looking at. Um, this diary doesn't have one of those little ribbons in it that makes it easy to see that week, which I was really disappointed in when I got it. So I put a post-it in there instead and that means I can open the diary to where I'm up to really, really easily, which is great. The other thing that I do, other than write down everything I'm doing during the week, I think everybody does it like that, but the other thing I do is I put a little to-do list in my diary and I do it on a post-it for a couple of reasons. One, I don't like to do too many things on my to-do list because I get too overwhelmed. You know, if there's 50 things on my to-do list, I'm not going to get them done in one day. So I'm going to go to bed at night really stressed thinking, oh God, I didn't get my whole to-do list done. And I don't want that. I want a calm, organized lifestyle. And so for me, that means not overwhelming myself with my to-do list. So I write down the really important things and that's usually five, maybe eight at the most on my post-it, cross them off as I go, and then when I'm done, I can take the post-it off, and I still have plenty of space on here to fill out my diary, which is really nice. And you know what, if I have a really productive day and I do all of the things on this post-it, and I still wanna do other things, then I can just write myself up another little post-it and stick it on to replace this one, and it's still a nice, clean, tidy diary. So that's what I do, that's how I stay on top of my agenda and that's how it stays neat and tidy and I keep wanting to use it all year then. Anyway, I would love to know how you organise your planner. So if you could film a video response and leave it on here, that would be great. I'd love to check it out. Or leave me a comment or pop over to Facebook or the blog and write something there. I'd love to know how you organise your planning for the year. So that's it from me today. Don't forget to check out the blog at www.beautifullyorganised.com if you'd like to see more hints, tips and stories on living a calm, organised lifestyle. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.